finding the slope and the y-intercept given a linear equation in two variables. So you look into different OI to find out slope and y-intercept. So first, what is slope y-intercept form? So slope and y-intercept form is y equal to mx plus b. So where m stands for the slope, where m stands for the slope, and b stands for the y-intercept. Usually we write y-intercept in an ordered pair like 0 comma b. So this up here that's the m which is a slope and that's the b which is y-intercept. Let's have a couple of examples and see if we can find out slope and y-intercept. So these are a few examples actually. This one is given an equation in two variables, also equation in two variables and this is in general form, this is slope intercept form but something is not looking right. So what we are going to do, we just put down the y is equal to mx plus b form, mx plus b. So that is the Winter slope or intercept form. So notice that this 4 and this is matching to the left side of the variable. So I would like to highlight it. So this is 4 and this is the m. So we know the slope already here. But y intercept that is the question. So there is nothing here. So we can actually put down plus. Now we are ready to get the answer. So our slope m is equal to 4 with the sign. If there is negative, we put negative sign, but this is positive. And y intercept, we put down 0, comma 0. This all is in order fair. So b is 0. That's how we write y intercept. Let's take a look at number two. Number two, we cannot find the slope unless we solve for y. So how do we solve for y? In other words, we keep the y on the left side. So we're going to add 3x in both sides, add 3x in both sides. So that cancelled out, 3x, 3x cancel out opposite. So 9y is equal to 3x plus 18. And our goal is to isolate y by itself. So we have to get rid of 9. So divided by 9, divided by 9, divided by 9. And that will cancel out and solve y is equal to and 3 goes to 9 is one third if we simplify x plus 2. This looks like our slope intercept form. So in other words, I can write down y is equal to mx plus b. So we can see what is going on here. This down here, m on the left of a variable, this is also on the left of a variable, doesn't matter is a fraction or whole number, and this one also matching here. So what is going on? M is slope is one third rise over run and y intercept is y intercept is two but I'm gonna write down zero comma two always ordered fair. Y intercept always ordered fair. So I have to solve for y here. So I need to get rid of this x. This is the x actually I have to isolate take all this to the other side. So five y is equal to as soon as you move to the other side, sign is going to change. So it's going to be 4x minus 20. Add 4x in both sides, subtract 20 in both sides. That's how we isolate variable. Now, we are looking for y only. We're not looking for 5y, we're looking for y. So, well, divided by 5, divided by 5, divided by 5 is going to give us y is equal to y is equal to 4 over 5x minus 4. So now we have slope intercept form. So what is the slope intercept form? y is equal to mx plus b. So we can actually now check it out. So that is our m which is slope and that is our y-intercept with the sign. So our slope, which is m is equal to 4 over 5 and y-intercept, y-intercept equal to 0 comma negative 4. That's how we find slope and y-intercept given linear equation.